Well, hello, my YouTube family. I know it's kind of, I'm very bright today. I don't know why. It's almost like an unnatural kind of brightness, but my lights are my lights. Well, it's getting kind of dark now. Maybe that's why. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I'm recording a little late because A, I left work late. And when I got home, OMG, my father would not shut up. Talking, talking, talking about life and the world, and he's sick of it, and he's tired of the Kardashians. I didn't even know my father knew anything about the Kardashians. He was spouting out though, that name like nobody's business. And the world is going to hell in a handbasket. He was quite negative. And I just sat there and just, it, it's like he needed to get it off his chest. So I just listened. I just listened. So, okay, people, I'm not, I'm going to try not to keep this too long because I still have to upload it and stuff. And please don't mind the stuff behind, that, that's the laundry that I have to put away. Sorry about that. So, and Mr. Man, I don't know, he's MIA right now. He could be under the bed sleeping and he may come out once he hears my voice or he could be in the living room. I don't know. But he's around somewhere. So, uh... Let's get started with lips of the day, okay? It's kind of very, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a silvery, lavender-ish kind of a gloss. Uh, that's the only way I can explain the shade. The liner is my MAC Magenta, lined lightly, and here's the gloss. I bought it at Ulta. This is Essence, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's Essence Triple, a, Triple X Shine, Triple Large Lip Gloss, Shine Lip Gloss. And I know I remember buying this at Ulta, and the name of the color is Big Night Out. Now let me do a swatch for you. I don't know how to describe this. Here it is. It's like an iridescent kind of a lavender-ish lavender -ish shade. That's the best I can do for you. You can see it on my lips here. So there you have it. I didn't want to do anything fancy. You know, my hair needs to get done. I'll probably do that next week, this, this upcoming weekend. And, you know, it's Monday. It is extraordinarily hot outside. 90 degrees, people. You know I got the AC on, right? I got the AC and the fan. So I'm rather cool right now. Um, let me take a baby wipe so I can wipe off. There we go. There we have it. Okay, that is done, and that is done. So over the weekends, people, it was movies galore this weekend. Movies galore, starting with Friday night's Gone Girl. Somebody needed to warn me about that stupid ass ending because I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I don't now. I don't understand the movie. I know she was a she was a bitch to the nth degree, but he wasn't all that fantastic either. So. At the end, I just I just didn't get the way it ended. And then I started to research, and apparently I'm not the only one who didn't like the way it ended. So I'm glad I'm in good company because I thought maybe I was stupid. I was sitting there watching the whole movie, getting all into it and stuff, and then it ended the way it ended. And I'm like, seriously? So no, I wasn't too thrilled with Gone Girl. Maybe the book was a lot better, which I'm pro it probably was. But the ending sucked sucked ass as a matter of fact just I'm just being real I wrote everything down people okay so uh, yeah Dana I know you wanted me to talk about Gone Girl the ending sucked ass girl that's all I have to tell you I'm not gonna you know you may find it interesting but the ending sucked ass I didn't understand it I didn't get it I, was, did they set each other up I didn't 
I don't So on Saturday night, well, I saw I saw Gone Girl on Saturday night, but then, now I'm just gonna say it once, people. Let me just say that uh, thanks to a family member, um, actually I don't know if you're a family member really because that that was the first time I saw you. I think your name is Paula. I think that's your name. Uh, she left a comment, that's the word I'm looking for, comment on, my, I think, my last video, Friday's video. And let me just put it this way, that thanks to her, I saw Jurassic Park on my computer for free. I'm not going to say anymore. Jurassic World. So yeah, I got to see Jurassic World also. And on Sunday afternoon, early afternoon, 12.20 showing, honey, I went to go see San Andreas. So I got to see the two movies that I really wanted to see, Jurassic World and San Andreas. And can I say I like San Andreas better than Jurassic World? I'm just saying. Jurassic World is I, it was I, you know, it was okay. It was okay. But San Andreas, the ending was kind of hokey, the very, very ending was kind of hokey, but the movie itself, you know, it's just one of those leave your brains at the door and just go in and have a good time. Honey, I made sure Sunday morning that I did not have breakfast because I was going to have my breakfast with a big ass bag of popcorn soaked in butter and um, a big cherry coat. And you know, we had those reclining seats. So I was thrilled beyond thrilled, but the thing I was not thrilled about was the fact that I was praying that there would be no nobody sitting next to me on either side. And unfortunately, I had people sitting next to me on either side. And the one, this dude that was sitting on the right, he's one of those, I gotta talk to the movies type. I was like, no, this is, this is not, this is not. So I kept breathing really hard, like, like that. And I think he eventually got the message. So, yeah, he's one of those talk to the movie types. You do not talk to, they're not going to answer you, okay? Yeah. Okay. And the woman to the left of me, I don't think she wanted to sit next to me. Because she kept herself, like, all over here. Like, I'm not going to touch you. So, what's the problem? I don't understand why you making, she, I mean, she just made it like an effort to just, uh, all right. But all three of us, the woman, me, and the guy, we climbed our seats. So I was quite comfortable. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the woman sitting to the left of me. And after this man shut up to the right of me, I was enjoying my movie. Okay, and it was a long movie, too. Ate my popcorn, honey. H had so much fun with my popcorn, I brought the rest of it home. I still have leftovers. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And speaking about it, I just want it now. It's very good. Movie popcorn is very, very good. And I had a medium bag. I did not order a small bag or a large bag. It was a medium bag because I didn't have breakfast, people. So I was quite hungry. I was quite hungry. Okay. So that's basically it in a nutshell. That's really all I have to say. Um, I came home late and I'm tired now. And I just want to, you know, I just want to max and relax and just, oh, look who is making an appearance. Well, he's making an appearance for me. It's not going to be making an appearance for you, I don't think. Because you won't be able to really see him. Hello, my honey. He wakes up, and it looks like he doesn't remember where he's at. He's just got that foggy look in his eyes, like, where am I? What am I doing here? Who are you? Oh, he's lying back down. Okay. I think it's because the AC is on now. So, yeah, I wish I could leave the AC on for him all day, but he don't help me pay the con ed. Okay. So I leave fans for him on though. Yeah, I leave fan I leave a fan in the hallway for him and I leave a fan in the living room for him. Uh because the living room table where the TV's at is a little lower. So I know he'd be able to feel it. If I left this fan on, he wouldn't be able to feel it. Unless I put it on the floor and I don't want him getting caught up and all of this. So, you know. So that is that with that upon that, people. That is Monday. 
Um, I had to hoosa a little bit at work. But you know what? I don't even want to discuss it. I, don't, I really don't want to discuss it. I just Let's just say it was just a hoosa moment. Just for the morning part, just for the morning half of the, the day was hoosa. The afternoon part, which is the reason why I came home late, the afternoon was sensational. Because I was having a conversation and a discussion. That's the word he used, discussion. The guy who I keep telling you that I like to have a conversation with, him and I. Because it all starts with us watching the same thing on CNN and then starting into a discussion. This discussion, I don't know how we got from what was going on on CNN with the whole Confederate flag and all of this nonsense to we wound up talking about comic books and comic book characters. Now, I have never been a comic book person. It's ever since the comic book characters have been brought on to the movie screen. You got your Marvel comics, you got your DC comics and all of that. So I'm familiar with the characters because I see them on the movies. So we were talking about this new one called Ant-Man. I just crack up just thinking about the title because just the title. And you know, the trailer makes it look like it's supposed to be a semi-serious kind of movie. You know, like a Man of Steel and Dark Knight and kind of thing. You know, serious. But this one is serious with a touch of, touch of humor. I can't deal. First of all, I can't deal with the title, Ant-Man. I, I don't know anything about Ant-Man. I don't want to know anything about Ant-Man. But the guy, my co-worker, he was trying to tell me about it and all of this. And then we started talking about Marvel Comics and Thor and the Avengers and the Dark Knight. And I realized, it, because after we started talking about it, then somebody else, came, like I had my back toward the door. I had my back to the door, so I, I couldn't see who was coming in. And my coworker said, well, the person that you really need to speak to is so-and-so. And so-and-so is coming in. So I got two people talking to me about comic book characters. And I mean, it got in-depth. It got serious. They were talking about characters that I didn't even know existed. Talking about such and such and so and so. And do you remember so and so from such and such comic book and the, the, the universe world and all of it? Oh. And then I realized, watch, listening to these two and interjecting every now and then, because every now and then they talk about a character that I'm, I, I'm quite familiar with Batman, Superman, the whole nine. I, just, I, and I thought to myself, as I'm listening to these two and interjecting every now and then, I thought to myself, Nancy, you are a 100% geek. Because these two are geeks, okay? But they're intelligent geeks. They're not like the, they're not like the, the Urkel geek. They're very, you know, very established geeks. And I found myself talking about Batman and Superman, and then I was getting all upset because now there's going to be a Supergirl, and I was upset that there is a Supergirl. Like, if there's a Superman, right? If there is a Superman and he does everything, why, why do we need a Supergirl? And then I realized that in the comic book world, there was Supergirl, Superdog, and Super Monkey. Why do we need a Superdog, and why do we need a Super Monkey? I don't understand. I really don't understand. So the first co-worker that I was having the conversation with, he was trying to explain. Like, well, how do you know that Supergirl is not Superman's daughter? I said, no, Super does Superman does not have a daughter. I know this for a fact. He goes, really? Do you know this for a fact? I said, look, he can't. you, you can't explain to me how Superman has a daughter named Supergirl, okay? So he doesn't know her name. He's got a daughter who he doesn't know who she is. What? And she's got the same powers he does. I said, why is that? And then, and then from Superman, Supergirl, why do we have to have Superdog? What is the point? What is the point of Superdog? And then, from, and then you, and then you get you, you put one other animal in there, and you got Super Monkey. Why do we have Super Monkey? Why do we have Superdog? I don't understand. They could have stopped the Supergirl because I'm already pissed off at Supergirl. Why? So then it became, they started talking about the Fantastic Four. They started talking about the Avengers, Thor, Hulk, Iron Man. And I'm like, okay, I know that one. Yeah, I know that one too. Yeah, I, okay. I Because I know them from the movies. These guys are talking about the comic books and the history and all of this. And now there's a new one. The other co-worker said, well, wait until you see Sandman. I said, well, wait a minute. Sandman. Isn't Sandman, wasn't Sandman in the last Spider-Man movie? And the other co-worker said, 
well, there was a character named Sandman, but that's not the same Sandman that he's talking about. I said, so there's another ca comic book character named Sandman? And the other one who came in said, oh, yeah, there's a whole series of Sandman. I said, oh, Lord Jesus. We were talking from 5.30 to 10 minutes to 6. I was still at work. People, at 10 minutes to 6, I should be rounding the corner to my house coming home. But the conversation was so deep and so intense and just so much fun. Because even though sometimes they lost me, other times I I, I got back on. They were talking about X-Men. They were talking about uh, they were talking about all of these characters. And I know some of them, Captain America, you know, all of these movies, all of these comic books and, and comic book characters that became movies. That's the only way I could relate. So they were like, okay, Nancy, you, you know, you're catching on. And, and they would explain certain things. And, you know, sometimes the universes would merge. And, and sometimes Gotham talks to uh, 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 Metropolis. And I'm like, well, but Gotham is the Dark Knight and Batman. And, 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 and um, Metropolis is Superman. And then the other, the first co-worker said, well, yeah, they talk to each other every now and then. And that's how they get together. I was like, wow, this is intense. And this is deep and this is serious. And then I thought to myself, yes, Nancy, you have you have traveled across the lines of geekdom. You have that you, you went there. You, you went there and it doesn't look like you're turning back. But I will stop at Ant-Man. No. I'll wait until Ant-Man hits HBO or something because I am not going to spend my ducats on a movie called Ant-Man. No, no. The Dark Knight. See, that's got punch to it. Man of Steel. Got some oomph to it. Ant-Man. What that got? That got nothing. Okay. So that is the reason why you're watching this late. And that's the reason why I'm uploading late. And that's the reason. So there you have it, people. That is it. That is all. Let me know what you think. You know, it was just kind of like a no nonsense kind of a Monday. Like I didn't even put my corrector on. I just, it was too hot this morning. Even though I had the AC on while I was getting dressed and everything, it was just, it was just, it was just weighing me down early in the morning, early in the morning at 6 30 in the morning. It was like already 78 degrees. I'm like, no, no. Mm. So, you know, I'm this and tomorrow I think it's going to be even hotter. So I'm going to be low-key. I'm going to be so low-key. You just don't know. So it was a low-key lip gloss. Low-key look. Loki, Isn't that the brother of Thor? See, I mm, see, I know my I know my characters, people. Don't don't tell me I don't know. Okay. So that is that with that upon that. I'm I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to put the laundry away. I've got things to do, people. Okay, I've got. And I want to eat some popcorn, the rest of it. Maybe that'll be dinner. Who knows? Okay, so that is it. That is all. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.